And have you ever wondered what happens behind the scenes in the cryptocurrency world when one coin seems to steal the spotlight from another? And that was a great time to put into Ethereum and Bitcoin, two titans of the digital currency arena. Since their inception, these two have danced a complex tango, with Ethereum often stepping forward to outperform Bitcoin during booming markets. Uh, but what happens when the music slows down? In the aftermath of the bear markets of 2018, 2019, and 2022, 2023, Ethereum has faced challenges, significantly trailing Bitcoin as we progress through 2024. For the first time in a having year, Ethereum finds itself at a crossroads struggling to maintain its previous advantage. Uh, one key indicator of Ethereum's plight has been the ETH-BTC ratio, which recently plummeted to a three and a half year low. Historical patterns suggest this might signal a downward trend. Similar support lines have crumbled during past halving years. As the chart suggests, the ETH-BTC ratio's drop could unveil a rather discouraging future for Ethereum investors. Especially additionally reminiscent of 2019, a pivotal year when the Federal Reserve began to cut interest rates, Ethereum's ratio reflected troubling patterns. Back then, the ETH-BTC ratio dropped significantly in response, and the correlation does not bode well for the current market atmosphere. You, uh, but it doesn't stop there. The dynamics of Ethereum supply have undergone a seismic shift. After the much-anticipated merge in 2022, Ethereum transitioned its consensus mechanism, resulting in impact injury to face create and the loss in prices. The trend, however, took a U-turn with the Denkun upgrade in March 2024, and suddenly Ethereum supply became inflationary again, with over 213,500 Ethoruses flooding back into circulation. This change, coupled with higher transaction fees, marked the end of an era for Ethereum deflationary vision, stirring concerns among its supporters. In a landscape where many believe the approval of Ethereum ETFs would drive prices higher, expectations were dashed as outflows emerged as a more prominent trend. Grayscale's ETHI has faced significant withdrawals, leading to a net negative impact on Ethereum's price as investors redeploy their assets elsewhere. ETHI... Uh, so are these factors indicative of a death knell for Ethereum? Not quite. The underlying fundamentals remain robust with active addresses on the rise in Ethereum, still richly valued in decentralized finance DeFi platforms. Uh, despite the surrounding doom, it's essential uh, to consider the road ahead. While 2024 may not be Ethereum's year for remarkable returns, optimism flickers for 2025 when rejuvenated momentum could see Ethereum regain its status as a darling of the crypto market. And hey, why don't that Ethereum and Bitcoin ever argue? Because they always keep their transactions separate. Uh, with that said, thanks for watching and until next time.